Hey everybody, welcome to another walking video and today we are walking at uh, Artbox Singapore. This is the 2019 edition. Um, this video is going to be quite long. I think it's an hour plus video. Uh, if you want to jump to certain segments of the video, do feel free to check out the description below. I've created a couple of timestamps. Um, they are segmented accordingly to the rows of uh, each uh, section in Artbox Singapore. Alright, um, we're heading into the entrance. Uh, it is, the Artbox is uh, situated at uh, just beside Kranji MRT, beside uh, Singapore Turf City. It's around a 10 minutes walk from uh, the MRT right to Artbox here. I'm entering the entrance now. It's facing the Singapore Turf City side. Quite a fair bit of walk. Security guard? Oops. Oh, there's no security check. It's around um, 9.30. It's quite late. Um, the art box opens from 3 p.m. to 11, Fridays to Saturday, sorry, Friday to Sunday. And uh, this is the first weekend. They'll be around for the next weekend on 20-something November. All right. I'm in the grounds now. All right. So they have converted uh, the car park in front of Turf City to this huge uh, area festival 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 like placed area with stalls that have food as well as shopping facing the final entrance uh, the food are all on the left side and where i'm looking at now are all the retail stalls so i'm going to head over there again do feel free to uh, jump to certain sections in the description if all the timestamps just click on it and you'll jump to uh, various rows that you have i'm walking towards the end the row closest to the MRT. To start off there first, you can see a very nice illuminated art box logo here by the grass patch. And uh, retail booths, there's a lot of people sitting around pavements. There are a lot of seating areas inside, so you don't really have to sit on the pavements but if you really want to. Um, lots of chairs, lots of benches, uh, lots of even uh, grass patches, fake grass patches for you to sit at. Alright, we're heading towards the first row of uh, the retail area and uh, right up you can see the arcade here. It's a stall or a couple of stalls with all uh, retro or new age arcade machines that uh, you can see people are playing here. And this is uh, how each row looks like. Lots of fairy lights above. Looking at arcade paradise here, lots of people are playing. It's kind of spacious, but then again, I came in really late. It's uh, 9.30 right now, so um, crowd is not that much. And uh, it is spacious. It is spacious compared to the previous art box editions. Uh, lots of room for people to look at. Mm. A traditional basketball game. And uh, this is where I think you get to change your coins for tokens to play. Uh, Arcade Paradise is on the right. And on the left is Claw Paradise. Coming up, you can see Claw Machines. Uh, it's always a perennial favorite. I'm not very good at it, but uh, a lot of people are really good at it, as you can see over here, and they're playing. Tons of Claw Machines on both the left and the right-hand side. All right, now I'm heading down to the stalls uh, facing the right-hand side. Uh, let's take a closer look at uh, the stalls there. Handbag stalls. We have some clothing stalls. I'll try and catch the names of each clothing. That's the thrift market. Uh, clothes for cheap here. People are looking at it. Like I mentioned, I'll try to catch the names of each stalls. But uh, if I can do, I'll point them out. But sometimes it's really hard or sometimes they don't even uh, put up the stalls. It's like some nameless stalls. Alright, we're coming up to a rare food stall here. Or rather drink stall. The Juice Way. Uh, you guys have seen this all over the place. Colourful juice-like drinks. Right, we have here something from Taiwan. All right, bags, handicrafts. More handicrafts here. Can't catch the name of the stall. <laughs> All right, Crockett Crotchet. Did I get the name correct? Crooked Crotchet. And there's handmade bags. Caps. All right. They even have a sewing machine here, wow. 
Kraton, uh, very woody stuff. Household utensils, bags, wooden kind of team here. There's a cat and dog based t-shirt here. Oh, almost got hit by the lady's hand there. Nice, with stickers too. Right, Nicole, uh, I guess that's earrings. Earrings, necklaces, uh, accessories, stuff like that. There's even a bed here, I wonder what they do with it. Maybe a massage or somebody to sit on. Personalized notebook. I guess they do something to the front cover and uh, they do it on a spot for you. You can put your name, etc. Very cute dogs, animal like tokens here. Colorful bags. I can't really catch the name. Hold on, let me just get back to it. Earrings. Out and ink. Uh, this is a tattoo area. I think people are doing some ink based tattooing here. Out and ink. Great. Confetti hands, uh, stickers. Lots of cute stickers if you are a sticker fan. Clip on earrings. Complete the label. That's the name of the stall, I think. Buy one, get one free. Right. Unisex bracelets. Wow. Okay, over here we have a claw machine like place called Dino Moo. Uh, they have this claw thing that you can try for free. This is You Can. I think it's uh, sticker based stuff. And um, uh, this is Dino Mao. Sorry, it's Dino Mao. And you can play for free here. That's a, that explains the queue over here. And I think you can win some Pokemon related plush toys here. Dinomon, right at the end of the uh, row 1 retail shop here. Uh, that's gang if you feel like getting a Gengar, Wigglypuff, uh, Charmander, or Bubble Saw, feel free to pop by here. Just get a couple of claw machine games and win yourself a plushie or a soft toy. Alright, coming over to the tail end of the first row, closest to the MRT on the right of Artbox. It's uh, more like a general sitting area and there is a standalone container booth. Let's take a look at what this container booth is. I think it's a uh, artisanal tea and I see a coffee machine there. Alright. Name of the shop would be Comex. Comex? Did I get it right? Yep, I did. Comex. Stand alone. Alright. Here's another cargo area. I think they are doing live workshops in here. Right, you can see a huge row. Each section has a particular craft store. So there's a traveler's notebook and I'm going towards a watercolor hand stamp panel. You can come here and uh, pay for it and you can do your own watercolor hand stamp panels. Uh, it looks really nice from the graphics that on the wall. You can draw on the spot. Moving on, we are going to... Wow, the crowd is really huge here. Everybody is like interested in this. I'm skipping that section. Create your own 3D printer accessories. There's 3D printing machines down here. I think that people are doing their own little accessories here. And uh, you can DIY your own tattoo. Jaguar ink tattoo. People are actually doing tattoos on their friends. All right, a photo spot here. And uh, that's where you sign up for the workshops behind me in that pink container. And all workshops are for like what, 20 bucks, all right? And uh, you can see the various items over here. And this is where I think you purchase your entry fee to go into that container to do your DIY stuff. Great. Moving on, there's a very nice large garden area here where people can just chill, uh, drink their stuff, eat their stuff. Uh, right, there's uh, tons of chairs, uh, there's cabo crates, there's nice chairs, umbrellas for people to chill out. It's very spacious, it's very airy, so not really sweaty and dark. Uh, you come in the evening, I guess, um, it's not too bad of an experience. Extremely spacious too. Alright, here we have a uh, Hydro Deep Horseshoe. Mm, should I check it out? Yeah, I should actually. Oh, let me go back and check it out. So what you do is, I think you just, they will just dip the horseshoe like thingy into this water tank here with some inks like that. Uh, 
think there should be some samples. Uh, let me just take a look. Uh -huh. Yep. So these are the different kind of horseshoes. I think they're doing this for charity. So very colorful horseshoe accessories that uh, you can uh, purchase or do over here. Right, going back to the first rule. All right. It's, uh, there's six to seven rows in total. I'm at, I'm at the first row. I've covered the ones on the left hand side facing me now. Now I'm going to the ones on the right hand side. As usual, if I can catch the name of the shop, I will say it out. But sometimes uh, it's really hard to make out what that shop is. A shoe shop here. They even have shoes on the floor. Um, pretty nice. They seek hangover, I think. <laughs> Bags too. Eclipse. Right. Uh, beans located throughout through a trash and etc okay what do we have here <laughs> choose your product personalize it go home happy lots of knickknacks i think there's socks there's bags there's a guy here doing carry catches seven dollars per person look at the cute cartoony stuff that he's doing i think you pass him your photograph and he'll just draw it up for you all right food huh another fruit juice drink stall two dollars per can sometimes when it's really late they really have really good deals uh, they're just trying to clear out stock so sometimes it's a blessing in disguise to come in late stores may be closed but uh, you might get free great deals or even freebies new another coconut based uh, food based drink here great necklaces etc uh, crimson cave something like that <laughs> The kettle gourmet, uh, popcorns, if you're feeling like a, you have a need for popcorns. That's nasi lama popcorn. I think I should go and try that out after I'm done with filming. I've never tasted nasi lama popcorn before. Right, coat shop. Uh, there is army raincoat. Alright, so uh, very trendy casual wear raincoat here. Let's keep, I think that's underwears. Moving on, there's a claw machine like place here and if I'm not wrong, they sell hair dryers, uh, hair straighteners and stuff, you can I think have a chance at a claw machine if you purchase, it's called play, is it really called play, it's fun. Alright, what do we have here, Stone Age handmade concrete. You can choose uh, potted plants in uh, porcelain bowls and buy these very, very cute potted plants. It's quite a common feature in most uh, flea markets and pasar malams throughout the world. They have this kind of very nice plants. Alright, we're back at the arcade area. That's Claw Paradise. Uh, as spoken, you can buy the tokens behind me or to my left and come here too and play all the claw machine games. Oh, they're from Taiwan. I claw by Taiwan. Really huge booth that they have here. We're back at uh, the arcade people. Um, there is a racing kind of stand here. Daytona. Uh, that's a very nice childhood game. I think they are having a competition. I hear the lady. She is coming up right soon. I think she, the announcement lady is like announcing some contests and stuff like that. She's wearing a Mario cap, really amazing stuff here. She's really hardworking, she's been um, announcing since I came down this lane. Right, that's for row one. Let's move on over to row two. As I mentioned, um, it's kind of spacious here. Not crowded at all. I guess it's crowded if you come in peak periods. That would be like maybe 5 to 8-ish or 9-ish. I'm here at 9.30, so not too bad. Neon lights, stop walking, start shopping. Nice. More shops. Uh, Tokidoki. Wow. Why, my wife's favorite. She just got a Tokidoki Times Guardian bag from uh, Malaysia, JB. And now in Singapore, there is. Maybe I'll ask her to check this out too. So there is more Tokidoki shirts here and bags. Right, nice stuff. I think it's a collab. 
Yes, Toki Doki times packet. Right, right at the start of rule two. Mm, baby shops here. Baby kids love mum. By VS Baby Singapore. YS? VS? YS. <laughs> Lots of kids related stuff here. You can see Hello Kitty at the back there too. Nice. Moving on. Dustbin. Not an interest unless you want to throw some trash. Right. Volume X clothes. Right, there is a hmm, nameless uh, shop here selling accessories. You can see uh, it's something like uh, the Thailand flea markets. There's lots of fairy lights above, shops on both sides. Let's take a look at what do we have here. Some sleepwear, I think. Long, flowy dresses, very comfortable. And there's a fashion wear shop here. No name. Quite a couple of no name shops here. It's hard to. Oh, somebody's throwing a baby up. <laughs> TT Shoes Shop. Hi, TT Shoes. It's really colorful. Check out the colorful shoes right at the bottom. Unicorn colors, always the rage here. Be Fearless. Clothes for the dog lovers. I think it's a dog related clothes. Moonset. I think that's a bag. Something like a sports kind of apparel. Very colorful. Reminds me of Fila. Moving on. Moving on, moving on. A hat and accessory shop with this very nice um, mirror. With the lights. Am I... Wow, I thought... I thought my reflection would be caught in the mirror, but apparently not. Okay, another nameless shop selling, I think, some knickknacks. Porcelain stuff. And we are at the end of the row here. Um, there's very nice pink container stuff for you to put your food stuff and stand and eat. It's like a standing eating area. As usual, we'll just turn around and check out the stalls on the right side. Right, back shops. You can't capture the name. Earrings shop too. Another knickknack. Pasamalavish shop. Gus not. That's the clothing brand here. Gus not. It's, uh, guys clothing if I'm not wrong. Nope, that's ladies too. Very Hawaiian style kind of clothes here. Even the staff is wearing it. Nice. Moving on. Uh, more knickknacks. Shop here. Earrings. Bracelets. Necklace. Colorful bags. Uh, something mad. Mo mad. Ma mad. If you're into rainbow like bags, ma mats for you. I like that dustbins are located all over the place. You know. uh, that's really, really awesome. You know. Compared to places like Chatu Chat or Railway, Rail Market in Thailand, I can't really. You want to throw stuff, but uh, dustbins are really hard to find. Um, pets. Back a dog team back. There's lots of dog team prints here. The monies and apparel shop. Earrings, necklace. Mm -hmm. Moving on, as you can see, most of the shops are situated above a car park lot. They've converted the entire car park beside Turf City into a giant art box flea market. Amazing stuff. Uh, another nameless, I think, t-shirt store here. Uh, stripes based, some prints behind. Another one selling bags. It's kind of uh, sling bags, I guess. We're back to the front area, which I think this features baby stuff. Another baby stall here. VS is just across to my left or behind. And this is Twinkle Kids. I like that really colorful rainbow skirt hanging above. It's amazing. Maybe I should get for my knees. Fantastic. And uh, to the first stall, uh, VT. I think this is a cosmetic brand. Yeah, I'm right. 
add colors to your daily makeup five dollars to 50 percent off pop my beauty right cosmetic stuff <laughs> we should get my wife to try it out and the first store here is a nano tech uh, that is a handphone screen protection screen protectors covers casing it's a tech shop here this is the first tech shop that i've seen so far i think the only one in artbox uh, most of it is fashion fashion entertainment stuff um, that's the sole tech shop which i've seen so far and uh, that's about handphone cases that's row two that's row two moving into this i would think this is the central area all right and this is row three from the right of the entrance i'm back at so many of the entrance now there is wow check this out it's amazing i think the central rows are really really colorful there is good burger here they sell really nice burgers um uh, meat it's meat but made from plants a uh, vegan burger not the vegan burger but the good burger still nonetheless there's a couple of stuff here black tie classic and one night in bangkok are they from Bangkok? I don't know, but looks good. And they're actively grilling the burgers, flipping the burgers while they serve customers here. Right, moving on. Um, to my left is actually a stage area. I'll check it out later. I'm uh, checking out the food here. There is uh, this from Taiwan. The Taiwanese drinks that were that used to be the rich uh, a couple of years ago. I think they extended their range of stuff here. Right, uh, that's two for five, one for two eighty, and you can just pick them up from here. I like the coffee, the blue one and the black one, the sumiyaki flavors, and you can check out the full range here. Yeah, my blue and black one are here. I'll get that. I'm here. There's also gummy drinks, one for two dollars. Right. Nice. Oh, they have a lantern that's totally made of these bottles too. Fried persimmon. If you want to get some kind of uh, food-based snacks. Something like that. Nice. The voice you're hearing is from the stage right behind me. They're doing some kind of a sound check, etc. And there's Luro Fun and all the Taiwanese snacks here. Lots of stuff mango snowflake, durian dessert snowflake. Right, you have Misra, you have shredded chicken Misra too. Alright, that's Taiwanese snacks. Moving on, tea berry. Let's take a closer look at uh, what they are selling. Some kind of tea. Artisanal tea. Nice. I can see the tea leaves infused in there. And the top ones are like semi alcoholic beer bottles. I don't know. Very colorful too. Two for ten dollars. Alright, there's Faith Pay throughout. I think uh, it's a little bit of high tech store here. Huh. Alright. Uh, Hammox. It's a shop that sell hammocks if you are really interested in getting one for your home. Uh knickknack shop. A kind oof. That's the name of the shop. Selling accessories. Sunglass shop. Try to check out the brand coming. Two N U. Right. Another head shop, very, very summery, very sunshiny. Clothing shop, uh, the name's in uh, Arabic, if I'm not wrong. It's an Arabic kind of store. Earrings, earrings and other small accessories kind of shop here. Great. And over here, DR2, I think it's a tattoo shop. I think ink base again, somebody's doing a tattoo behind. We'll check out. Oh, okay. I see it's cute little tattoos that you can do on the spot. You can choose all these tattoo designs here. Very cute tattoos. 
and they'll do it for you behind there. It's a stick-on kind of tattoo. Socks. Right, and this is the socks shop. Mm. What else do they sell? All sorts of knickknacks, I guess. Another batik like shop here. Oh, by the way, I'm going down row three. Uh, this is to the right side of the stage here. And uh, so far, there's been a couple of food stalls, a couple of shops here selling all sorts of fashion wear. There's even a shop that sells hammock. Thai milk tea series, Fruit Ha. Hey, didn't I see Fruit Ha somewhere? I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. Really, really colorful, different kind of fruit teas here. This is the drink. Great. No thanks. Uh, the little girl just asked me if I want one. Uh, maybe not. Ice cream sandwich. Right, the ice cream and cookie company. And these are the flavors. Wow, it's chendo. Nice. All right. Maybe I'll get the vanilla bean or chendo one. All right, this is a very tiny shop. Uh, I have no idea what they sell. I can't really catch it. All right, some cute accessories kind of shop. Stickers, stickers, I think. All right, a muse on the spot custom made pouches. Uh, somebody is doing some custom made. I think they're showing them the design. And uh, yeah, these are the pouches. I think you can make your stamp your own name on it. There's Pix Tea. Nice logo here. Wow. Uh, black and white clothing store. Very minimalistic. Yep, minimalistic tea. Custom case SG. Oh, right. So another handphone case shop. Much smaller one here. And this is uh, earrings. Right. Free play with any purchase. Uh, very tiny claw machine on my right. And uh, this is stick on tattoos again. Temporary tattoo. The ink book. And this, I think, is aromatherapy. I see some stuff here. Eyelash store. Fake eyelashes booth here. That is a uh, jar tistry. I think they're selling uh, earrings here. Me too. Lots of earring shops and, and other socks shops. So majority of stores actually have a very small earrings and accessory shop, uh, some clothing, some stores. And there's a brush stall there selling makeup brushes. Going to the right hand side of the lane here, more earrings. I'm at row three here. It's uh, just beside the central stage and I'm checking out the stalls on the right side after I've been through one round down from the left side. Alright, keychains and some little small figurine shop. Sticker shops with bags and stuff like that. You can actually hear the music from the stage further up. Check that out later. And earring shop with... Oh, that's fuzzy keychains on the right it's a vintage clothes shop the logo's too small I can't really see it <laughs> all damn littles uh, knickknack shop right and uh, this is Muslim friendly makeup product shop alright right. halal approved makeup shop is it? I'm not sure, but they said Muslim friendly, so I'm assuming that it is. Clothes shop. At requisite. Earrings. Again, there's a of earrings shop. Light two small pouches shop. And there's a shop for cats and dogs. Uh, animal accessories shop. There's a clothing shop. They even sell kurongs too. So. Hannah Jaguar Tattoos, I think they do henna and uh, stuff here. Tattoo shop. Right, moving on, Wholesome Paws. Uh, this, I think, it is a food shop. Yeah, bakery. 
artisan pet kitchen and bakery stuff. Hmm. Uh, maybe I should go and take a closer look. I think they are selling like cookies or some sort of big confectionery stuff. Uh, it's very pet themed. I think they do it in the form of a paw print. Nice. Earring shop. Bags, patches, embroidery, another bag, clothing shop, vintage too. I notice they like to spam the words vintage here, right? Uh, SWB, basic, casual, and young clothes shop. And the last shop is another nameless clothes accessories shop. Okay, moving into the central area where the stage is, you can see it's lots of crate chairs and uh, there's artificial grass patch for people to sit on lots of chairs to umbrellas and I am moving forward there is beers right to my right here tiger I think summer's beast on behind me doing a sweep around right and there's a live band playing live songs here it's pretty nice uh, do a close pen ah, you can see summer's bee here Great. Uh, it's really really colorful, colorful. The trees, the fairy lights, the neon signs, the stage backdrop, the crater, the crates, sitting area, grass patch, umbrellas. It's spacious, it's spacious. There's definitely a lot of places for people to sit or stand and eat your stuff and listen to live music if they're tired from all the shopping. Right, doing a pen. There's even a upstairs area for people to take selfies on for each of the beer stands or alcoholic summer's bee and tiger beer they have a secondary floor i think if you purchase you can go up and enjoy the view from above let's check out uh, summer's bee special here art box special with apple sparkling rose sparkling white great and there's tiger to the left hand side and there's bruce here Right. Moving forward, I'm going down the central row. This is, should be row four. And it's the central row facing the stage. And I'm walking down here. There is a art box Eden. I think um, it should be the media center if I'm not wrong. Yes. Right. That's the media center. Nobody's in there by the way, I uh, guess they've all done their stuff already. <laughs> right, walking down here, it's more sparse, more open. Uh, I'm wondering what, what each stall is, because uh, they're not typical stalls per se. It's a bag like shop, custom bag shop where they paint the stuff for you on the spot. It's cool 10 booth here, Paradiso. Online shopping with uh, a selfie wall over there. Shopping is love, shopping is life. I wonder what they do here. Uh, do they actually sell stuff over here or stuff like that? Not really sure, but you can definitely take a selfie here. Faith is here. Uh, most of the stall do accept payment by Faith, so uh, that's good. It's very convenient if you want a high tech wireless form of payment. And uh, they have a container here which uh, is an experience zone. Oh! I see, I see, this is massage. You can get a free food massage here at the container store. I saw the picture of a neck massage, so yeah, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good because, like in the uh, Thai store uh, in Thailand, there's lots of massage parlors uh, throughout in the flea market. So there's a lot of walking, and if you're feeling very tired, you can just go and do a massage. Good that uh, Faith does actually have a massage um, facility here. It's a standalone shop, pesto mortar. Looks really premium. And there's Gryphon T here with their own uh, double story container building with a very cute bubble chair. Nice. If I'm burping too much, I apologize. I just did some stuff uh, dinner before starting the shoot here, so I do apologize too much. <laughs> quite a heavy meal. I had quite a heavy meal. There's quite a lot of good food here. 
So I do apologize in advance. I try to keep it low for you guys. All right. Um, realize there's some stuff which I missed out, so I'm walking to the previous row. This is down row three. And um, what am I doing? Actually, I'm not really sure. Uh -huh. Okay, so that was Rule 3, lots of uh, trinket shops, uh, some food stalls and I realized there's some stuff here so I decided to go and check it out before heading back through the central booth. You can see the seating area behind rows 1, 2 and 3, the retail side right at the end closest to the MRT where people are actually standing and further down in a grass patch, artificial grass patch they are sitting. Ah, so there's an installation here. I guess that's why some people are coming in by this way. There's rainbow horse installations. If you're into filling up your Instagram or selfie quota, this should be the place to do it. Wow, it's a really nice shot the couple is doing. Uh, let's try and take a sneak still at the horse here. Right, close up look at the rainbow horse. Pretty nice. I hope I'm not in the couple's shot. Try and keep to the side as much as possible. Right, I was not in the field of view, they got a good shot, great. And I am out of here. So this huge uh, container to our left, it's called the Heart of Eden. No idea what that is. Looks really exclusive. I wonder what it does. Can't really see anything. You have to pay to get in, uh, so that's... I don't know man, what do you guys think is in there? Alright, wow. Nice uh, light show stuff here. I think they're showing um, some kind of projection light stuff. I'm really curious about this Heart of Eden. So anybody who have been inside it, uh, do leave a comment below. On what, what's this about? Um, sorry I wasn't able to get in and I think it's really dark in there. So. Um, yeah, do let me know what's the heart of Eden all about. Here's the exit actually. It's the closest entrance, entrance like place to the MRT. But uh, you, it's for exit only. They'll usually usher you to walk a good 10 minutes all around the border of the art box to the other side facing Turf City entrance to get in. Again, it's 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes walk. Quite a fair bit of walk, but there's signs throughout, so um, just follow the signs and the crowd. You'll be in without a hitch. Um, some kind of like installation, I think it's for charity and stuff like that. Uh, lots of people sticking on stickers. I have no idea what these stickers are. Oh, really, really close up loop. City sprouts. I'm sorry, it's out of focus. Alright. No idea what it is. It's for charity. That's would be good. So a main installation artworks cargo box here. Uh, very nice selfie backdrop with the logo art box Singapore behind. You can barely make it out with that uh, overhead walkway but it is really colorful if you take a shot here and it gives a very lively kind of uh, background backdrop. Right, that was uh, the central row, row 4. Row 4, right? I don't know, I'm losing count. Uh, anyway, the food section is on this side. Right, and um, heading up one of the main food alleyways. Naturally, it will be more crowded, being food a more popular kind of uh, activity, I think. Yes, it is definitely much more crowded, so let's uh, check it out. This is row 5. Lost track of the room. Alright, so this is the first food run going down, the swag social. Right, selling a uh, yakinigu with eye teriyaki chicken stuff. I think they're frying things on the spot here. Very nice. Grilled meats, chicken, pork, fun fruits. Here's a fruit stall selling live uh, fresh cut fruits. I see mangoes. Nibble times nibble. Small Eats, Oden stuff. Right. 
uh, bro tea. Uh, this is a quite a common iced tea store. You can find in various events uh, and uh, pasar malams, whenever that happens. Excuse me, I burped again. <laughs> uh, okay, fried squid. Fried squid store. Wow, grilled squid here. And apologies for the flickering. Some of them use lights which uh, have a different frequency, so apologize in advance. Yin He, uh, Taiwan fruit tea store. Multi layered fruit tea. Right. Uh, cheese potato, yummy factory. So it's like uh, cheese king here. There's a cheese wheel pasta. Let's see whether there's anything in the cheese. Oh, I think they'll actually do it when they're serving the customer. Right. I try and say that uh, this is his hand and this is his picture and this is what they do. They blow torch the cheese. <laughs> Pretty friendly, guys. Soft knit. Uh, you know what it is? Meatballs in a bucket and another regular in uh, flea market or festival stuff. Uh, I do like their meatballs, the standard meatballs bucket. Uh, it's very nice. So if you're looking for something to fill your stomach, something really starchy and really nice, go for meatballs in a bucket. This is uh, Santa Fe. Uh, I think tacos, uh, quesadilla. Food. I'm right with all the wrap stuff. Feeling Mexican. Mexican, right? Tacos are Mexican. Yeah. Mm. Check out this store here. Right, the Fat Five. Uh, another kind of Mexican ish like stuff nachos and cheese, beef nachos, chili beef, cheese. Uh, here we have a hybrid the fried food store. Yes. Uh huh. Grilled Thai stuff. Grilled Thai grilled pork stuff. Nice. Right. And they're grilling the pork patties here. Art box being a stuff that comes from Thailand. Uh, there's definitely a couple of, quite a huge number of Thai stalls uh, spread throughout. I'm looking forward to checking some of them out. So that was the Thai stall. And this is Project Shake. No idea what it does. Uh, mm, yeah, kebab store here. It's the first Middle Eastern store that I've seen so far. Oh, it's a scary looking store holder here. <laughs> if you're not eating, stop filming, idiot. <laughs> Middle Eastern cuisine, nice. Crispy pan fried Swiss rosti, rosti, nice. Uh, one of my favorite food or uh, street food is actually the rosti. You can see here, they are creating rosti here. I might get some later on too, uh, after I'm done with the filming. Hopefully they're still open. I can smell it. Wow, really nice. Cool pan fried potatoes are always the best. Alright, we're coming back to the main stage here. Right. There is a hammock. Wow, I really envy the lady who managed to snack the spot at the hammock. Just right below where I am, she's partially blocked. Really, really nice place. Right, uh, walking further up, row 5. This is the food row. Uh, just a recap if you are coming down from the entrance, you can see the stairs onto the left. Uh, coming in from the entrance, on the right hand side are all the retail shops, left hand side are all the food stalls, which I am here. Right, and there's a central stage area. Another regular stall in most places this is beef bro uh, they sell uh, beef cubes and stuff like that nobody's frying it so i shall just move on and this is golden moments back by popular demand what what exactly is golden moments oh wow durian ice cream nice I have not seen this around anywhere. There is dark chocolate macarons, durian mao shan wang. I think they are uh, mao shan wang kind of dessert kind of stores. They sell ice cream, purees and macarons. I like the branding here. I like the poster. Looks like. I thought it was Magnum at first. Right, here we are. Dirty Temptation. It's a latte. 
drinks kind of stuff that's Thai iced tea, iced tea based. You can see the cans there, the condition made cans. You definitely know it's Thai. Right. Great. Moving down. What else is there? This yellow stall, Kaz Kazo. Oh, it's Polo Pao. Um, some. Hmm. Oh, cream puffs from Taiwan. Nice. Let's check them out. So there's cream inside this. It's not Polo Pao. I'm really sorry. It's like cream puffs, like Bip Papa, but uh, it's from Taiwan. Nice. It's chocolate variation and there's like a roll stick variation. All right, more Thai food here and there's Thai street food here. There's desserts, sticky rice. Uh, there is pork bowls here. All right, great. Looking at the menu. There's pig trotters, there's mango salad, there's meatballs. All right, close up on all the pork, grilled pork stuff. Fantastic. I'm moving on. Um, it's a little bit late now. I think it's around 10 ish. 10. Some stalls are already closed. Really apologize if I miss these stalls. Uh, but uh, I'll do what I can and take a look at the rest that's open. Uh, Yuzu citrus tea. There was one. And takoyaki here with uh, pizza. So you can see the takoyaki balls here. Nice. Really fried, and I think this is where they'll do the pizza. Moving on, what do we have here? Gryphon tea. Uh, they have a huge container stuff here. I think this is a smaller stall. You just want to grab and go. The Gryphon tea, and oddball ice cream, I think. Artisanal ice cream, I think they flame it up for you or do some kind of fancy stuff. This stall is closed and this stall is closed. Oh man. I think I came a bit too late. But then again, if you come during the peak hours, it might get really, really crowded. Local lock. Uh, takoyakis with uh, iced lemon tea, milk teas for drinks here. Hybrid stall. And that's Thai boat noodles, right? Seven dollars per bowl. I hope it's a huge bowl. Yes, it is huge. Right. Really, really friendly Thai hold stall holders here. Nice. Wow. Uh, lobster bay. That's your lobster roll, and with a white rabbit drink. Nuts, handcrafted fish cubes. Handcrafted. Let's take a look at the fish cubes. Mm. All right, uh, framing cream boule, black sugar, boba tea, br brown sugar, sorry, not black sugar. That's white rabbit drinks here, boba, milk. Brown sugar, boba ice cream, white rabbit. Uh, it's the trending kind of food store here. You can see the boba here. Oh. Nice. And just beside it is twist potato. If you're into uh, potato kind of stuff, uh, this is the food for you, I guess. Twist the potato. Nice. All right, let's move on. Carrot cubes. This is new. I've never seen uh, carrot cubes before, and I think they are frying it like, yes, like carrot cakes. Oh, it is carrot cake. It, it is carrot cake, I guess. It's not carrot. I don't know. <laughs> but there is a carrot logo here, so hmm, I'm confused. Carrot cubes. Nice. Easy eggs. Uh, is it like a takoyaki kind of uh, stall here? Yeah, I think it's doing some kind of takoyaki stuff. That's made of eggs, I think. Oh, there's more. Well, they put salmon on top, and there's a I think fried squid variation. Yes, quail eggs. I see, fried quail eggs. I uh, can find a lot of that uh, in Thailand and in Taiwan uh, flea market stalls. There was row five food section. The first food row, food dedicated row. 
I'm checking out row 6 again a I think food dedicated section here and I'm late it's around 10 15 and night here and I think most of some stores have started closing and most of them are just chilling out you know selling their last orders and stuff like that all right uh chicken pork special genius gen, genius sausage all right sausage this is sinful right I have no idea what it's selling <laughs> yummy Asia what are they selling I see the Chinese word beef here beef cubes and rainbow potato balls right sweet potato ball custard I see taro balls sweet potato balls I see fried stuff nice so other than beef cubes, there's uh, fried potato balls. I'm going to check out the, what the guy is frying here. Ah, he's frying the beef cubes here. Right. So, yeah. Fire beef cubes with... And there's like sweet potato balls and taro balls. Nice. Moving forward. What is this? Gastro kitchen. Mac and cheese. I think it's mac and cheese, right? With uh, some variation, like this charcoal truffle too. Nice. Lobster piccolo taco, lobster tacos. Anybody? That's the lobster taco. Great. Loco Loco. Seems like deja vu. I think I've seen this Loco Loco stall. This is the second one which I've come across, if I'm not wrong. Chuck to Chuck's, right? I think it's a fruit tea stall. I am, am I right? Yeah, lychee, passion fruit, right? With lemon, citrus based kind of fruit tea. The meat guys selling all different kind of meats. Uh, there's burgers, there's cubes, there's chicken thighs. Good on the spot. Wow, nice poster. Fantastic. Fat boss. Seo Bak, Thai crispy omelette. They are sold out for the Seo Bak. I think that is really interesting and they have different sauces. Crispy omelette still on there, right? And uh, this is Baby Boss Koo. Selling, uh, I think, milk tea with uh, in baby bottles. Uh, that's really interesting. Skewer and skin. Chicken skewers, beef skewers, chicken skin, and there's burgers. They're all packed up and I just burped, sorry. <laughs> squid and friends. Uh, grilling squid here. If you're a squid kind of person, this might be it for you. Uh, Crafts steak. Fries, um, so it's thick and fries, uh, different flavors. Bug, mm, what, what, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, okay. All right, that's the store Bergonomics. They are closed for the day, too. Man, I'm really low. Champion Polo Pao. All right, and uh, this has a crowd in it. I hope I do get to take a look at the Polo Pao's. Yes, somebody is actually serving them out right now. Champion Polo Pao's, always a good snack, sweet, airy, crispy, nice, like the texture of it. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on, Psycho, Japanese street snacks, whatever it is, ah, uh, takoyakis, karage and fries, okay. The New Age, another beef based stall here, I think there's beef sandwiches and beef slices, I'm looking at the picture here. Right, and makes sense. This is private dining. How do you how do you do private dining here? It's really weird. And they have the cheese uh, bowl thing here. I'm gonna check it out and see what's there. There's nothing. Uh, I think they'll mix it in. They'll mix the cheese in. Yeah, yeah, it's like the previous store where they mix the cheese in and they're serving it. So nothing's happening. Taiwan mushroom snack. Nice. Uh, they're grilling the mushrooms here. It's a long queue. I guess mushrooms are favorite. 
that is uh, sweet right this is the mushroom snack here oh, it looks really really well cool and this is sweet potato or pumpkin I think it's pumpkin deep fried pumpkin balls tea kwa right that is right tea kwa balls okay uh, next up we have duman duman food here mm, the smell is really really good the smell is really really nice right there's prawn sets uh, i think that it's clams all right and prawns no wonder the smell is really really nice oh this oh this is really really good uh, i should i recommend you should try it just based on the smell alone it smells really really good savory and sweet it's a candy floss store here cotton candy and uh, they made it in very cute characters so you can see on the posters here there's dark there's rabbits there is a guditama candy right and wow the lady is doing the floss here and shaping it into the various shape i think it needs some kind of skill check it out nice uh the crowd behind me the family uh, they're trying it out now and uh, apparently it's really really nice and they add on these fried balls with sesame coated fried balls and they put it on top of the drink sesame peanut ball with the lime juice drink nice there's a glow in the dark Cot candy no oh this is a shaved ice dessert and it's rainbow shaved ice here let's check out here wow very very colorful dessert in very very colorful cups here and i think you can hold it and eat it at the same time it's very very convenient and somebody's trying it i uh, can add toppings to it etc shift ice mm. wah wah seafood all right there is fresh lala here uh do see like a seafood container i think that's where they keep all the lala here and they grill it fresh for you right so you just pick up they just pick it up from here and grill it on the spot right pasta with garlic butter sauce creamy garlic butter sauce i hope it i don't smell anything from here but i hope it's the same kind of smell which i've seen in that the other seafood store earlier on uh, that would be really awesome right so eggs benedict sandwich shop here I have no idea what the name is but uh, looks nice just from the poster by itself it's mentaiko version there's caramelized egg version yagami's benedict right and uh, this is what it looks like portion seems a bit small though right it's just a, a single slice of bread with the benedict and the various uh, add-ons variety to it taiwan waffles you can customize your own waffle with different blaze and different fillings. I'm checking out the fillings. Double chocolate, cheese, peanut, hot dog, chocolate, double berry. And it's uh, in either a bear or heart shape. Right. Moving on. This is the first stall right at the entrance. Mukata Express. Grilled pork again. You can see this, uh, this is another Thai place, Mukata Express, uh, with the grilled meats. The grilled meats are really, really, really fragrant, especially when you fry like that. You can smell it. So they fry on the spot, the grilled meat, when you order it, and you can uh, take a look at the ladies frying it. It's a huge line of orders that's on it. Right. Nice smell. Oh man, I'm getting hungry again great so that was the right side food stall now i'm heading back again but before i head back i'd like to point out right at the furthest left extreme is those are the toilets container toilets they are on the left side when facing when you come down and face the entrance they're on the extreme left hand side beside the huge car park you can see this way to toilet so toilets are on the extreme left corner of Artbox. 
Okay, what else? Uh, more seating areas. I like that it's spread out, it's spacious. There's lots of uh, seating areas. And uh, I see an exit there. Uh, yeah. So this is the exit to the car park. If you're driving it, you can park at the uh, Turf City car park. Here is a multi-story car park. A lot of lots here. And I see people going back to their cars here. And this is the exit. Again, it's at the extreme left side facing the entrance of Artbox. Right, I'm not driving so I'll head back. I still got a couple of rows to check out. This should be, what, row, row 6? Yeah, this should be row 6. Artbox is the second row on the left side in the food stall section area of Artbox. Walking down, checking out the stalls on the left hand side. Now I did a run on the right hand side, so... What's this? Right. Alright, fried stuff, I think fried chicken. Uh, this is corn bro. Kopi Fellas on the move. I think they sell coffee. And corn sticks. If I'm not wrong. Corn dog. Corn dogs with kopi. Right. I think they're famous for their cold brew uh, black coffees. Street bites, uh, fries, nacho cheese fries, uh, crispy chicken. Writing the gimbal here, I think it's kind of skewed. Alright, another brown sugar flaming brulee, cream brulee, flaming cream brulee boba tea milk drink store here with your mandatory. Hey, wow, nice. They have it in bare bottles. And there's your mandatory uh, boba pot, black, sh black sugar, brown sugar boba pot. Right, and there's the white rabbit drink too. And this stall sells a lot of stuff. Uh, I think they sell egg waffles. Yes, I'm correct. Egg waffles with some kind of drink. Uh, they have toppings on it too. Nice. And there's Japanese souffle pancakes too. Uh, it's a hybrid hybrid stall sells all sorts of uh, snacks here great and we have uh, the bulb station uh, along with pasta to go so on the left here is uh, the bulb drinks uh, there are soda drinks in bulb containers containers that look like light bulbs and there's pasta to go here you can get spaghetti meatballs mac and cheese chicken bolognese over here and these are the light bulb drinks right moving on what's next maize asam pedas uh, panadols cambodian street food i see uh, it's really hot they give you a headache that's why it's asam pedas panadols <laughs> right uh, cambodian street food too spicy stuff over here, there is, uh, I think, a uh, fried rice, omelette fried rice, omelette with fried rice, a uh, Thai stall here. There's no pork. Fried rice with omelettes here. Nice. So the fried rice underneath the omelette. And then you have uh, takeaway Thai ice milk tea. Alright, great. And moving on, another Thai milk tea stall, uh, meatballs in a bucket, this is the second stall, there's a bigger stall over there, this is the secondary stall. The juice way, another, oh okay, wow, there's uh, tots with uh, truffle oil, potato tots, along with uh, the juice way drinks, there's another juice way stall at the retail section. And this is another Thai tea with crab meat speciality all right and this is coconut drink xiao shao ye freshly stressed square freshly squeezed coconut drink here all right you can see the machine uh wow the bottles are really huge really really huge coconut drinks or is it coconut or is it bamboo i have no idea I think it was bamboo drinks. I'm really sorry if I got it wrong. <laughs> Looks like bamboo drinks. 
Uh, here we have like lobster stuff again. Lobster with cheese fries. And mango paradise. Although they're selling bubble tea here. So it's what? Like a mixture of bubble tea with mango stuff. Right, there's a street food. I see beef cubes, beef slices. Am I right? Yeah, that's, that looks like beef and bacon with cheese. All right, all sorts of stuff. Yep, they do sell truffle fries too. Small street food and uh, chicken chop. Uh, perennial Taiwanese uh, snack favorite. Sell other stuff like crispy squid and uh, shiitake mushrooms too. Right. Fried stuff. Okay, uh, on more food this way, I'm on to the last wave, if I'm not wrong. Um, if you want to take a walk through all the rows, uh, just purely just by walking, I think it'll take you an hour plus ish. I'm into an hour, I think, more or less. So if you're just looking and walking, I think it'll take you an hour to cover all like seven rows. Uh, this is the last row, I think. Uh, right at the extreme left side if you're coming by the entrance all right most of the stores are closed now uh, there's fried mantou stores with chili crab sauce fried mantou with different kind of sauces right that's nice but i think they are closed for the time yeah. oh there's condensed milk and different sort of uh, sauces too curry sauce mentaco sauce nice well a lot of stores are kind of close at this section uh, this is the least crowded section uh, it's the one facing the car park and this is my last row here so all right okay and tacos yeah taco shop this store have cleared out that stall have cleared out too they pick up really early Alright, this store is still alive. Uh, what's it? Pretty saucy. And what do they sell? Huh? That's, that's sugar cane. <laughs> Alright, and there's a street food here. Bespoke dining club. Uh, it looks like kind of like uh, beef cubes, beef slices. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have another drink stall here. I think there's mango. There is milk tea, and they are selling beef noodle here. I think they are more or less sold out or just cleaning up for the day. All right. Over here, we have the best choco cheese. Banana by Bram. Chocolate and banana with all the different toppings. And there is oh, small donut rings here. Nice. Mini donut burgers. Great. Right. Hello something and they're closing up too there's a peri let me take a look at what it is ice cream stall all right all right with the bread ice cream and the cone ice cream and uh, right beside that ice cream store is this ice cream store called aperi selling a uh, different kind of uh, ice creams with uh, different flavors i think it's scoop ice cream let me take a look at Whatever they're serving. Oh, it's frosted beyond frostiness. Ah, can't really see what the flavors are. Alright, let me check it out right in front. Mm, you can't really tell what flavors there are. And um, there's signs here. Let me just go in and take a closer look at the signs. Right. Ferraro, Roche, Apiri, Caramelized Strawberry, Dark Chocolate, Blue Milk. Kind of exotic flavors. Speedy, I can't really see what some of them are. I can just make out a bit here and there. Right. 
So that's the end of the lane. I'm sorry, I just uh, cut from that end here. That was the end. It's a pretty short walk. Most of the stalls are closed now. And I'm back at the central walkway that was that is row four. Behind me is the stage. Uh, I think uh, Artbox is uh, going to be closed more or less soon now. So I'm heading on my way to head out to the exit. And so that was uh, the complete walkthrough of the Artbox. Uh, again, it takes me about like an hour plus to walk through all seven rows. I started from the shopping area, the retail stall area. That's to the right of the entrance and I slowly make a sneak up and down each row through all the rows from one to five. So one to three on the right hand side are retail, primary retail stores. In the middle, there's a mixture of food and retail stores with the central stage where they have live bands playing. And on the right, rows five to seven, are the food stalls all right and right at the edge there is the toilet on the left hand side and the car park i am heading out through the central the exit uh that's facing the mrt tracks here and it's uh, around another five minutes walk to the mrt it's a very very short walk and so that is the complete walkthrough of artbox singapore 2019 edition i hope you guys like it if you like it, do feel free to comment below uh, which stalls uh, interest you and uh, what's interesting and stuff like that. And do remember to subscribe to the channel if you really want to see some of my other walking videos. And that's it. Back through the passageway back to the MRT station where I'm taking a train back. Yeah, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys had fun watching the video and uh, do remember to check out my other walk through videos and some of them have no commentary and some of them have commentaries like this one and do feel free to take a look at it and i will see you the next time in other videos thank you for watching have a good night bye bye